welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we are at Stark Fisheries down in Kent and we're going to be looking at some absolutely amazing high quality fish. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you place an order at Star Fisheries, then what happens behind the scenes until that fish reaches your house at home. So behind me in this Japanese floating basket we have seven really really nice fancy goldfish. We've got some Aranda and some Ranchu. I'm going to be showing you a close look at these fish in particular. We're going to be taking a look at them in the glass viewing tank to give them an overall health check before they go out on their way and get shipped right to your door. So without further ado, let's check them out. Hopefully you can see we have our seven fish in the box. Now these have actually been purchased online via email or purchased on the website. And now they have been placed into this Japanese floating basket. Now they're getting shipped out to date to the customers at home. I wonder if any of you have watching have actually purchased some of these fish. We're gonna have a close health inspection of them in the glass viewing tank before they are bagged up and shipped off to you. We have some absolutely massive Arandas and some absolutely lovely Ranchu here. Not sure if you can see on the video, but these are absolutely huge fish and some really, really nice quality. We have a cow style Ranchu. We have a red and white Aranda, a red Aranda, a tiger Aranda, and also an Apache Aranda as well. So when you place those orders online, the fish are then reserved for you and then they get their health inspection. They get checked over before they are bagged up and sent off to you in the post. Now they are shipped via APC courier, I believe, which is a 24 hour courier. You also get your tracking online as well and that will get shipped directly to your door. Then when they have arrived, float them in your tank, open the bag and then release the fish at home. You would have seen me done this many times when I purchased fish myself. Without further ado, let's get these in the viewing tank and let's have a close look at a few examples of these stunning fish before they get boxed up ready to go to their new homes. First up, as you can see, we have this cow style ranchu and we also have the calico ranchu as well. Now, although we're doing a health check on these, it's really nice to see the quality and have a little close look at these fish in general. Generally, when doing a health check, we're looking for any scales that are standing up, any redness to the fins, any red hues within the epidermis of the fish, any discoloration throughout the body, especially on the underside of the body, because that is often very overlooked in fancy goldfish. If any fish are bottom sitting when you're not around, they can develop red sores underneath and ulcers. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on, especially if these fish are getting shipped out to customers. Now, having a look at these fish in general, I can see that they are in pristine condition. There is no signs of any knocks, bumps, or grazes. The when shape and the when in general looks in really good condition. No damage to that either. I can see that the fish are active, alert, and healthy. Although they are quite active because they are a little bit stressed when you add them to the viewing tank, when I was observing them in the main tank that they were in, I could see they were nice, active, and alert, which is another thing to look for. So now we've had a look at those two ranches, let's take a look at this stunning Apache short body, short tail Aranda. Now you can see this has a really striking color to it, a real luminous orange and a deep dark black or sumi as it is known in Japanese. Really nice body shape to this fish, really good structure. I like the tail, I like the fact that the tail is not too small, really liking the size of the head and I'm sure as this fish grows, as the frame expands on it, as the body deepens, this fish is going to become a real centerpiece of any fancy goldfish aquarium. It's already got really, really nice qualities and features. Looks absolutely great from the top view with that split caudal fin and the really raised erect dorsal fin as well. There's a real clear definition between the two colors, which shows a, of a real high quality fish. Really nice definition to the color, good swimming pattern as well. And as always, no marks, bumps or knocks. The next fish up we have is this stunning tiger Aranda. Now, it is quite hard to put into perspective how big this fish actually is, but there is a slightly smaller fish that I will show in my hand in a couple of minutes just to give you a little bit of size reference. But this, I would say, is probably the biggest Aranda I have ever seen in my life. 
This fish was 29 centimeters. That is right, nearly 12 inches in length. Really stunning pattern to this fish. Really nice caudal fin, high dorsal fin as well. Although the fish wasn't too active in the viewing tank, it was very, very active within the Japanese floating basket and the tank that it came out of. One thing when shipping large fish, they can potentially damage themselves. So that is something to think about. And obviously these fish have been imported from overseas. They are then rested, then recuperated with lots of food warm water and good filtration and then they are finally sent onto the customers when they have been health checked ensure they have no parasites they are feeding well and they are happy happy goldfish the next up one we have is a lovely polka dot style aranda with an absolutely stunning jade seal when now the jade seal refers to that slightly different colored when shape on top or the when color i should say and this one has that whitish when on top you can see on this second aranda we also have a little bit of white when to the top of the fish however it has not got that full round jade seal effect this is actually similar to my aranda oreo which has that round white shaped when on the top of its head but this aranda was absolutely stunning and i would have absolutely loved to take this fish home but unfortunately it was sold and going out to the customer another great quality fish really good condition no redness to the scales or the skin the fins are flowing nicely there is no red stress in the fins or any blood vessels or any raised blood vessels as well the fish is really active and alert and has really really nice quality within it now here is a quick glimpse at the size of some of these fish just to give you a little bit of reference on my hand these fish are absolutely huge size now we've had a close look at the majority of the high quality fish here we're going to head over to fish house one where the packing station is we're going to get them all boxed up and then ready to head out to their new homes now we are at the packing station in fish house one we are just packing a couple of aranda in this bag here now they get double bagged they get oxygenated with pure oxygen and then the larger fish are put into these poly boxes and the smaller fish go into cardboard boxes And then once you've received your box, you will have to start acclimating your fish. Now, who of you guessed that I actually received a few new fish from my recent trip to Star Fisheries? Now, I bet you didn't expect that, but hopefully you've enjoyed today's video, seeing those fish, how you order online and the process that occurs behind the scenes, what actually happens at Star Fisheries and how they get your fish sent out to your address. So these are the fish that I've purchased today. Now let me show, actually, let's save that for another video. As always, thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping. Mm -hmm.